I said it would take 10 years to change the surface right. of the earth. If from the day they say go, I've never said it would take 10 years. Well, there's no discussion about that. If he's familiar with the system, he understands he has to educate people. If you don't educate people, if you work out a system for making money in this system so that the people who identify with this would be better off, that's working in the wrong direction. If I tell people how to make money in the system, some will go off and make money in the system. They're not always going to stick with the Venus Project. How do you provide renewable energy, food, drinking water? That's process at a low, level. Low cost. That'll enhance people in this system. He's going off in his own direction. He's not following the Venus Project. If he doesn't understand that, he's got to come out here. Otherwise, he can't understand it. There's a lot of things I can show him on paper that I'd rather not show the general public because it's commercially available. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no way to make the transition comfortable for the members. They will take advantage of that. Some of them will. They're not all safe bets. There can be no transition unless you're familiar with the Venus Project's procedures. Then you're to teach those procedures and explain the scientific method to people. If you can get to enough people, they will fall in line with the procedural system. Anything else like how to survive within the system, uh, that I, I don't deal with at all. That's a really a commercial question. You'll have people wanting to get in to the survival group if things are bad, but that doesn't bring about a resource-based economy. Do you want a group within the Venus Project presenting different methods to people of how to survive during the transition? Who do you select to give that to? Anybody in the group who does research, who want, you know, finding low-cost methods of doing things today. So I'm talking about just what's existing today that people can use. Do you want that as part of the Venus Project? I don't Project? Want, no. Okay. Well, the Venus Project is something else. It has nothing to do with that. Yeah. The Venus Project has no control over survival during the transition. Remember, the Venus Project is not in charge. So you will have government, sort of a fascist, American brand of fascism, in which they will allocate resources for those in control, not the subversive people, or people they consider subversive. If you don't fall in line with their teachings, with their direction, you will be ostracized or mistreated. I can't deal with that. I have no control over that. Whatever happens will happen. And it depends on how many people you have oriented to this direction. And uh, it all depends on what happens during the period of our travel. If we go to some country and that country wishes to establish the base for social operations, that's where it'll begin. And they'll bring other countries in. They have to follow that procedure. I'm not interested in handling any single country, okay? Except for the start. If they want to start the beginning of the bringing together of all nations, I'm full for it. But if they want to know how to survive as a country, I'm not interested. Because that's the same as the price system. That's the same as the UN. All the nations want to know is what's in it for them. Does it threaten their existence? We cannot cater to any one country. Only when we begin and the leaders of a country understand the necessity of bringing together all the other countries. If you wish to put an end to war, unemployment, and many of the problems that exist, you have to follow the Venus Project's procedures. If you don't follow that, you're on your own. You do whatever you can to survive. The Venus Project is not concerned with the survival of a particular group whether they're members of the Venus Project or not. Do you think it's necessary to have a lot of people learning about the Venus Project who aren't technical and just talking to other people about it? Street activism? Well, absolutely. The more people know about it, the more people that are behind it, the smoother the transition. I never said it'll be smooth. It's going to be rough. I've always said that. And there's nothing you can do about that. You know, you don't know how bad things are. And then you have to learn what you would have to do privately, is learn what edible plants are. There are many root plants you can eat. You might be able to take some grass 
This guy squeezes the glass and drinks the juice. If grass can support cows, can you cut it up in with the vegetables and mix it in? Are there other things we can eat that we don't concern ourselves with at present? I'm sure there are thousands of insects we can eat, which are high in protein, rich in nutrients, which have to learn how to prepare into insects. Do you think it's important to have a group of people in the Venus Project? No, I'm not, not concerned. No, I'm not concerned with it. I think there's a book that's available today. It's called Survival, produced by the military. Edible Insects, How to Get Drinking Water. Do you know the book? It's a military book. What to survive on, what you can eat, how you can get water where there's little water. It's condensation on leaves, and then you can drink it. And it tells of the traveler's farm with horns that are filled with water. But the military survival book, in the hands of everybody, produces another problem. If everybody had a copy of a military survival book, you have no advantages. So I'm not too interested in people that survive. I always say outdoor people have a better chance of surviving. Hunters with guns, and liberals usually don't like guns, so their ability to survive is diminished. The people that will survive are those that have guns, have good target practice, and even if they shoot people, they will probably consume them under terrible conditions. So that's no solution. There was some group in France that used to charge Jews a certain amount of money and they transfer them through a tunnel. But the Jews would give them a certain amount of money and in the tunnel they would be crucified and butchered and sold in meat shops in Germany and all over where there were shortages. Are you familiar with that? But they never told people it was human beings. But they did provide a lot of meat, and they did use dogs and other animals and provide them with meat for a fee. But the people thought they were escaping in this tunnel. Now there they were butchered and stole. Every, all their baggage was taken away from them. These people survived quite well. The more ruthless, the more survival they have. Do you understand that? The ruthless tend to survive, not the humanists.